good morning, and for some of you, good afternoon. Welcome to Reshape 2021. My name is Alexandre Gagnon. I'm the Vice President for Amazon Business Worldwide, joining you from uh, uh, the Amazon headquarters here in Seattle. We have thousands of people joining us today from organizations of all sizes, including many institutions and large enterprises. And that is probably one of the most interesting thing about my, my job currently is that I get to hear from such a diverse breadth of organizations around the world about your procurement needs and business objectives in general. And I get to think about how Amazon business can help improve and simplify uh, you know, those procurement processes and help you achieve your, your goal. Um, I hope it's going to be today a great dialogue for you, uh, and I really look forward to hearing your feedback following the event. I certainly wish we could all meet face-to-face uh, -to, -face to have this discussion. Uh, obviously, this is not possible, so we hope that this uh, virtual event that we crafted for you, uh, you'll find enjoy it, and um, we'll also find it useful. We brought together a group of innovators, uh, purchasing leaders, procurement experts, and we think you're going to get a lot of value out of those discussions. I am excited to hear insights, new ideas, uh, and hope you'll be uh, inspired as well by uh, that experience uh, uh, throughout the day. I've been at Amazon for over 18 years now, and I've been involved in many businesses uh, really around the world. And the company obviously has grown quite a bit and changed tremendously during that time. Uh, but there's one thing that has been so consistent at Amazon, and that's always been at the forefront of our decision-making process and uh, where we invest uh, in different initiatives. And it's that notion of starting with the customer and working backwards. From the earliest day, customer obsession has always been at the core of the company. And if I think about the history of Amazon business, it is no different. It started with the customer. There's always been businesses doing some form of procurement um, on Amazon.com. And we ask ourselves, how can we do a better job uh, for those customers, those organizations, the members of those organizations? And how can we combine the ease of Amazon shopping experience with a tailored experience? And that was the genesis for Amazon business. And our focus is not only on the customer experience, but also on the processes uh, that surround that shopping experience that uh, probably we can greatly simplify. And that's what Amazon business is all about. We want to give our customers, many of which are coming from large organizations, a better experience through access to a more digital process that will save time, but still conform to your organization's agreed uh, procurement process. When I asked the team to express uh, the mission of this conference in, in words, the aspiration, uh, they proposed the following, and we hope it captures your objective in attending the conference today. Uh, many of our customers tell us that organizations are asking them to reinvent procurement, to save time, to save money, freeing resources to focus on the core mission of the organization. And I think this reflects well what we're trying to, well, what you are trying to accomplish. And if I step back, uh, many of you are probably familiar with the leadership principles at, at Amazon. And the two that would come to mind uh, for uh, you know, what you're trying to do is think big and invent and simplify. So beyond a uh, better shopping experience, our purpose is to make your job easier by going a step further by creating tools using technology that helps you simplify your processes and manage the day-to-day -day operation. And uh, based on favorable uh, customer response, the approach seems to be working. I am very encouraged that we're on the right track with our solution when we look at the number of organizations that are joining Amazon Business. and. When I look at this list, I am always impressed at the breadth of organization in terms of size, types, covering so many industries, hospitals, universities, government agencies, startups, nonprofit, daycares, restaurants. 
uh, quite a bit of breath. And with that breath, we also recognize that all of you may have different needs. Uh, in some cases, it may be uh, a better punch-out integration. Other may require more analytics. And it is our job to meet those needs. And to give you a sense of scale, we now serve uh, over 5 million business uh, accounts throughout the world. Uh, and of course, we have the technology infrastructure that allows us to scale to serve that many customers. We're live in nine countries, um, 80 of the top Fortune 100 companies. Uh, and as a side note, if uh, any of the 20 are in attendance today, I would love to uh, have a conversation uh, at the end of the event with you. Uh, you can see 92 of the 100 largest hospital systems in the United States, 45 to 50 state government, many of the largest education system, and something that the team and I are super proud of, which is we're supporting over 75,000 nonprofit organizations, helping those organizations be successful and focus on their own mission which is incredibly, incredibly important. We do this by offering hundreds of millions of products on the website. Categories like office, electronics, janitorial, break room, PPE, which is so important these days, uh, as well as MRO, lab and science. And over 60 million of those products have additional discount specifically for businesses. Because we understand that uh, your desire is not only to save time, but also to save money with Amazon Business. We have many partners who work closely with us to ensure that we have the products that you need, and in the format and the quantities uh, tailored to businesses. There is a tremendous amount of work that goes into tailoring our selection to the unique needs of business customers. Part of what makes Amazon Business so useful is that we connect you with hundreds of thousands of sellers, but in a highly scalable way, so you don't have to worry about managing all those purchasing relationships individually. Today, third-party sellers make up more than half of our $25 billion in worldwide sales. And we are proud to support small, independent business sellers many of which come from very, very diverse backgrounds. And it's always been a focus of Amazon business to provide an opportunity for smaller, local-owned, minority-owned businesses to be able to serve the needs of larger organizations. And we know that many of you have similar goals, that you want to use your span uh, to support small and local businesses. To help you do that, we created the Credential Seller Programs where selling partners can display one or more of 14 nationally recognized diversity, ownership, and quality credentials on their profile. And I want to share that in 2020, the number of sellers with some form of credential have increased by 68% throughout the year. And we intend to grow that number even faster in 2021. I'll share this great success story that um, John Hopkins on University have shared with us. As part of their local program, they use guided buying, and you'll hear about guided buying, which is a tool that Amazon Business provides, to tailor an experience on the website uh, for teachers and employees to surface local businesses from the Baltimore areas. Today, they buy from uh, thousands of small businesses across the country, but many of which that are local using that tailor experience. On their own, it would have been incredibly challenging to manage that many purchasing relationships, but Amazon helps by alleviating the hurdles uh, to do so at scale by taking on the management of logistic, customer service, disbursement, and other back-end functions. Talking about features, we just uh, mentioned guided buying uh, and how to use it, but in 2020 alone, we launched over 100 uh, new features. And some of the highlights include greatly improving how easy it is to integrate with an e-procurement system. Uh, we made it really easy for accounts using QuickBooks to import purchases made on Amazon Business into their accounting system. 
And then for business and organization and interested in moving their budget process into a cloud-based solution, we now offer Amazon budget, Amazon business budget management. You will hear a lot more about all those features from um, other team members today. And especially on the topic of leveraging both Amazon Business and AWS to help you transform your operation and procurement processes. The last 12 months have been a time of learning and change. And I know it has been for you as well. Um, and being customer obsessed is not something that we take lightly or stop focusing on during challenging times. Our commitment was put to the test uh, in the past year as nearly every businesses and organization that we support experienced unexpected disruption due to COVID-19 and faced the urgent need to transform their operation, source PPE equipment to keep their employees safe, and also manage costs in a difficult environment. It's been a privilege to work with teams and partners from all around the world to keep the supply chain moving for our customers. And to all of those we work with and all of you have trusted us as your suppliers in those critical times, I want to say thank you. And also a special thank you to all of you and organization that are supporting frontline workers. Looking ahead, we believe that you'll have a critical role to play in the recovery, growth, and acceleration that will happen in the years ahead. And we know that your organization is relying on you to bring value and efficiency like never before and at the same time help protect uh, your workforce and mitigate risk. And in some ways that work is often behind the scene and it doesn't always get the recognition it deserves but certainly us at Amazon Business we know how critical your work can be. I also want to acknowledge the fact that our audience today is quite broad. Some of you are CPO, full-time procurement professionals from large enterprises, while others uh, you know, work for business where you have to wear many, many hats. But no matter your goals and no matter how complex your business operation is, we aim to offer a business solution that will help all of our customers be successful reaching their goals. We invested a lot in our mission to support procurement leaders, but we still have uh, a long way to go. And I'll leave you with this, uh, this thought. It refers to, it's always day one. And you may be familiar with um, that say at Amazon. It's been talked quite a bit over the media. And it's this notion of uh, a day one mentality, this uh, relentlessly focus on innovation and inventing on behalf of our customers. And for Amazon business, uh, it's certainly day one. Uh, we're early in this journey to reshape buying, and we're very interested in your feedback on one, how we're doing, but also how we can continue improving and inventing on your behalf. So I thank you for joining today. I hope you enjoy uh, the rest of the event, and I know for a fact that uh, you'll find a lot of insights in the coming sessions. Thank you. Thank you, Alex. Hello, everyone. I'm Patricia Schindler Carter, and it's my privilege to lead our commercial and public sector teams at Amazon Business, who have the opportunity to work with customers like yourselves every day. I've been on the Amazon Business team from day one, and I'm proud to join Alex in saying that it's still day one. We're just getting started on our mission to equip our customers with the selection and tools they need to build a better buying process. As Alex mentioned, we're growing, and as we do, we're working hard to make purchasing for your business or organization easier, faster, and more intuitive so that you can get what you need in less time, for less money, and with a better employee experience. Our growth means that we've been able to serve in more broad and meaningful ways in the last year than ever before. We've taken our expertise in fulfillment and our global supplier network and applied it to this critical moment in time. We dug deep and mobilized at a time when other suppliers couldn't, and at the speed our customers needed. For me personally, that meant jumping on midnight phone calls with my colleagues in Amazon Air, securing plane capacity to bring critically needed masks to hospitals. It meant being relentless in our worldwide search for sources of hand sanitizer when those products were most constrained. 
and getting them first into the hands of those that needed them most. Through the challenges of 2020, we worked with some amazing business and organizational leaders who worked tirelessly to support their employees, their customers, their students, and their patients. With Amazon Business as an engine behind them, these leaders were able to do some pretty inspiring things, from sourcing emergency PPE on the front lines of the pandemic to totally reimagining the workplace and educational experience in a matter of weeks, to growing businesses that advance racial equality. Let's take a closer look at some of their stories. We've been inspired by the dedicated team at Mary Center. For over 30 years, Mary Center has been on the forefront of delivering quality health care and social services for those who need it most. A community health center serving people of all incomes and backgrounds in the Washington, D.C. area, Mary Center has developed a social change model to offer medical, educational, and social services for the entire family, regardless of income, all under one roof. Providing quality health care and social services for over 60,000 participants is challenging enough. So when the pandemic began, the extreme shortage of medical supplies and soaring costs threatened the care Mary Center could provide to families and the safety of staff and patients. Mary Center wasn't alone in the crisis. As the pandemic spread rapidly throughout the country, it brought disruptions to the supply chain that no one was prepared for. Thousands of our customers on the front lines at hospitals, senior living facilities, state and city governments, and federal agencies reached out to us to inform us of their shortages. Demand had far outpaced supply of health and safety products that are necessary to help those impacted by COVID-19 and to slow the spread. To help play a small part in solving for this, our Amazon business team came together to quickly create the COVID-19 supply store, a resource reserved for those who needed supplies first and most urgently, hospitals, senior living facilities, nonprofit health and government organizations. To amass the largest supply possible as quickly as possible of personal PPE, ventilators, thermometers, hand sanitizer, and more directly to those who needed it most, we mobilized our global supplier network and waived all standard referral fees for third-party sellers who supplied products for the effort. Organizations received free priority delivery on eligible items, the fastest available shipping speed, and got the supplies they needed, sometimes as soon as the next business day. The Mary Center nursing staff worked with Amazon Business to obtain critical supplies within days so they could turn their attention back to helping vulnerable communities. Later today, some of you will hear directly from Mary Center organization panel nurse manager, Jacqueline Malay Cedeno about her experience sourcing from Amazon Business's COVID-19 supplies and what it's meant for their organization. Thousands of other hospitals, first responders, and government agencies had similar experiences. One of those was King County, here in my home of Washington State. When our governor declared a state of emergency, he directed King County to source PPE as quickly and cost-effectively as possible to help address scarcity across the state. The King County Emergency Operations Center began reaching out to potential suppliers who responded with their offers. With decreasing supply and strained supply chains, suppliers were quoting high prices with 45 to 50 days for delivery, falling short of the county's goals for price and speed. Meanwhile, the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services had requested Hanes Brands, the multinational clothing manufacturer and number one apparel brand portfolio in the U.S., to produce more than 450 million non-medical masks to meet the growing demand for PPE. Hanes Brands had never produced masks, and in addition to switching production from apparel to a new product category, it had to find customers that needed them. Prior to the pandemic, Hanes Brands had opened its product selection to buyers on the Amazon Business Store, where they could connect with enterprise customers looking to buy in large quantities. One of those customers was King County a longtime Amazon business customer the county trusted that they could place a bulk order with Amazon business to obtain Hanes Brands masks and meet their critical sourcing needs. Five million masks started to arrive in two weeks. Between March and May of 2020, during the period of greatest supply shortages, the Amazon business COVID-19 supply store delivered over 100 million essential health and safety products to tens of thousands of locations across the U.S., including pandemic hotspots at the time like New York City and rural counties not served by traditional suppliers. 
Supplies were sent to more than 13,000 healthcare providers, including over half of the top 100 hospital systems in the country, and to 7,000 government organizations, including 44 of the 50 state governments. Shortly after its launch, we expanded COVID-19 supplies to Canada, the United Kingdom, France, Germany, Italy, and Spain. Though getting essential health and safety equipment to healthcare, government, and first responders has been priority number one, the sudden need for PPE, workplace safety essentials, and equipment to support a remote workforce has strained the resources of nearly every business and organization. One thing that's been made clear for business procurement leaders during this time is how prepared they are to navigate through unforeseen circumstances and how the processes they've established in advance can help or hinder during difficult times. ExxonMobil, the largest publicly traded international oil and gas company, for years had focused on using technology and innovation to help meet the world's growing energy needs. As you can imagine, ExxonMobil has an incredibly complex supply chain with a large number of spot transactions. So price competitiveness and efficient processes are critical to reduce the time spent finding, sourcing, and expense reporting the thousands of smaller items that are needed throughout the company every day. Prior to the pandemic, we worked with ExxonMobil to consolidate spot transactions to a new procure-to-pay system that allowed users to punch out into Amazon business to shop for consumable MRO. When the pandemic hit and new supply needs surfaced, the fact that they had already automated routine purchases and had visibility into these transactions helped enable their teams to get what they needed quickly and maintain operations globally while keeping costs in check. Mariano Matskin, Global MRO Procurement Manager at ExxonMobil, told us that during challenging times, the technology accessed through Amazon Business not only helped ensure business continuity, but is helping him turn procurement into a value driver for the company long term. Another major shift we saw in 2020, and that continues to impact the lives of so many, is the transition to distance learning. Last year, when most schools had to unexpectedly close, we recognized that one of the most important things we could do was to alleviate some of the challenges educators were facing in getting the supplies they needed for successful learning from home. Talking to our customers, who are some of the largest school districts and higher education institutions in the country, most of them were telling us that their regular suppliers couldn't fulfill their needs. Their teachers were struggling and students were suffering. So we made it our second order of business after prioritizing COVID supplies for healthcare and government to prioritize warehouse space for school supplies, making them available to school districts and educational associations to get quickly. Los Angeles Unified, the second largest school district in the U.S. with over 1,300 schools and more than 30 municipalities across 730 square miles, turned to Amazon Business for help supporting parents, students, and faculty during this urgent transition. Amidst shortages and increased demand, we acted fast with a global supplier to source 132,000 noise-reducing headphones to deliver to all high school students in the district for minimizing distractions at home, and similarly equipped Los Angeles Unified Contact Center staff members with headphones to ensure they had the tools they needed to continue serving the community. As distance and hybrid learning has carried on in most areas of the country, challenges have continued. To help, in addition to prioritizing stock of education supplies, we've improved our ability to ship orders directly to students' homes, and we fast-tracked fund allocation for districts that need to quickly allocate budgets to individual purchasers so teachers can put the funds to use in their classrooms and meet critical needs. The events of 2020, the pandemic and the events following the murders of George Floyd, Ahmaud Arbery, and Breonna Taylor shined a spotlight on existing racial inequities and historical failures, not just in the US, but all over the world. In August, the Federal Reserve reported that 41% of Black-owned small businesses had closed due to the pandemic. But the challenges faced by Black-owned businesses were present before. For example, 12.6% of the U.S. population is Black, yet only 2.1% of businesses with employees are Black-owned. And Black-owned businesses represent only 1.3% of total American sales. It is essential for the health of our nation and our world that we work to provide opportunities to Black-owned businesses. 
Since Amazon opened its store to third-party sellers 20 years ago, we've welcomed business owners and entrepreneurs from all backgrounds, enabling them to reach millions of customers and grow their businesses. Now we are making it easier for businesses and organizations to find and purchase from Black-owned businesses. In September 2020, we launched the Black-owned seller storefront on Amazon Business, dedicated to the stories and products of Black business owners in our store. We are actively recruiting and onboarding Black and minority-owned businesses to sell in our stores and exploring new solutions we can provide to help Black-owned businesses grow and thrive. Another important way we are supporting minority-owned and small business sellers is through diversity certifications. As Alex mentioned, selling partners can display diversity certifications on their business profiles to help attract new buyers. Large organizations looking to source from small and diverse suppliers can be matched with those sellers on Amazon Business, making it easier for them to reach their sourcing goals and for small and diverse businesses to sell to enterprise buyers, including federal, state, and local governments, universities, hospitals, and healthcare systems. One of these success stories is Aldevra, a Kalamazoo, Michigan-based business founded in 2009 to sell medical and food service equipment. As a veteran and Black-owned small business, the company is a success story. It currently has 38 employees, offers benefits such as healthcare, 401k, and professional development opportunities for its employees, and it's intentional about how it does business, with an emphasis building long-term success for its employees and their families. Aldevra displays its diversity certifications on the business store to find buyers from enterprise organizations. In 2019, Aldevra sales on Amazon Business increased 315% year over year, and through 2020, it has grown an additional 80% in incremental sales across industries, including the commercial sector, education, healthcare, and most significantly, government with a 246% increase in sales to government agencies through 2020. With this success, Aldevra increased its product availability by 20,000 in 2020, with a total of 40,000 products now available to supply to its growing customer base. Today, Aldevra is a prime contractor for several government customers, including the U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs, U.S. Department of Defense, and the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, as well as several state and local governments. We're proud to build connections between minority-owned businesses like Aldevra and millions of business and organizational buyers worldwide. Looking back at the last 12 months, I'm inspired by the stories we hear from our customers that show when leaders care about their organizations and their people, they're able to succeed even in the face of difficult circumstances.